Welcome everyone to your free masterclass where you're going to discover three simple steps that make drawing easy and three mistakes that amateurs make that keep you stuck in mediocrity. So let's close all the computer windows and shut all the other devices so we can just focus for, on the secrets that could make your art dreams come true. At the end of your masterclass, I'm going to be taking questions. So feel free to type those in the Q&A box as we go. So let's get the party started. First, let me ask you, is your drawing a little wonky? <laughs> you keep making the same frustrating mistakes over and over and over. You finally wad up your paper in frustration. Well, I have good news. I've been taking thousands of people from stick figures to amazing realism, and it happens really fast. Hi, my name is Sandra Angelo, and my specialty is speed learning. I help you drill down to the core drawing mistakes that are keeping you trapped in that dreaded mediocre category. Once we get rid of your chronic mistakes, you can begin to create all sorts of art with confidence. So let's talk about who this masterclass is for. If you think you don't have talent, this masterclass is for you because for 20 years, I only worked with people whose art was so bad it never even made it to their mom's fridge. This apprentice started out with no talent and now he's a world famous artist with published work in books and videos. He's so excited about drawing that he's begun to build a portfolio to sell his art. This masterclass is also for you if you kind of know how to draw, but you're struggling to get those realistic textures. So in this slide, Sharon, who owns her own business, was super busy, but she wanted to learn to draw. She didn't want to wait till retirement to perfect her art, so she went on the internet to see if she could find a good drawing coach. And when she discovered that Rhode Island School of Design had given me a fellowship award because I'm so good at turning amateurs into artists, she knew she was in the right place. So by practicing 30 minutes a day after work, Sharon took her drawing from amateur to amazing. And when she drew this portrait for a neighbor who had just lost her dog, Sharon's drawing kept that dog's love alive. Now her drawings are turning out so well and Sharon loves to create drawings that bring pleasure to those that she loves. This masterclass is also for you if you can draw, but your art's just not landing top awards and lucrative commissions, and maybe your paintings are a little wonky because you never learned to draw. Maybe you want to up-level your drawing skills and finally draw like a master so that you can create great drawings or better paintings. So this description fits Joanne Ray. When she entered pencil drawing college, she was quite talented, but she couldn't figure out where she kept going wrong. So in her apprenticeship coaching program, I pinpointed her chronic mistakes. And now Joanne's work is so stunning that she's fielding lucrative commissions. And here's another cool thing that happened. Joanne's drawing was featured on the cover of a book that we used to raise funds for a soldier and his kitty cat. This kitten mousetrap had befriended a soldier named Gordon in the war zone. And the little kitty brought him so much comfort and joy in a grueling environment. So when Gordon had to leave Afghanistan, he just couldn't bear the thought of leaving his little buddy Mousetrap behind. So we decided to raise funds so that Mousetrap could fly to the United States and live with her beloved soldier. So you see, art can be used for so many good things, but it's no fun to draw if you're no good at it. So let's talk about today's tips, tricks, and shortcuts that could help you take your drawing from amateur to amazing. Here's what you're going to discover in today's masterclass. First, I'm going to share the simple steps that make drawing easy so that anyone can succeed really fast. My simplified drawing system dramatically improves your accuracy, even if you have really weak skills like this student on this slide, Kathy. You can see that her first drawing was a stick figure. Kathy's husband had a stroke, so she became a home care provider, and her stress just really started mounting. So to escape that stress, Kathy decided to take up drawing. So even though she started with these stick figures, when Kathy used my three magic tricks, her art took a quantum leap. In the first part of this masterclass, I'm going to share these three magic tricks that transform Kathy's art so fast. After that, I'm going to discuss three mistakes that could be keeping you stuck in mediocrity. And then when we burst those false beliefs, you will never, never, never fail again because you're going to know what to do. Here's the thing. It's not the marks on your paper that are keeping you trapped. It's these false beliefs that keep you trapped. So here's what the false belief is. 
you're looking for instructions in the wrong place. So it's not your fault. You're getting bad instructions and that's why your drawings look bad. So after we get rid of the mistakes that are holding you back, the, the places where you shouldn't be looking, I'm gonna show you four steps that'll make drawing so easy that anyone can succeed, even if you don't have natural talent. And the good news is for 20 years, I only worked with non-artists. So I had to make things super simple for them. So I broke down the old master's concept into four simple steps so that you can begin to see the world the way an artist does. So at the very end of the master class, I'm gonna show you those four steps and get really specific about what's inside Pencil Drawing College. So let's jump in and get started. Step one is to improve your accuracy by using my three magic tricks. So I'm gonna teach you how to use the grid, how to draw upside down and how to use the window. I'm gonna look at an example right now of how using a window, uh, using the grid really helped this student improve his accuracy. On the left, you can see that this student named Bob wasn't paying close attention to the model's face. Bob assumed that since eyes are across from each other horizontally, they should be drawn that way. And so that's what he did in this drawing on the left. But if you look at the drawing in the middle, you can see that the model's head is tilted. So this student's preconceived notion about eyes was making his portrait wonky. And if we take a closer look at that drawing on the right, we can see that the left eye is below the horizontal line and the eye on the right is above it. So you can see why the grid is so critical for drawing accuracy because horizontal and vertical lines help you line things up. So then you know where to place objects so you're not operating from preconceived notions about your subject, but you're really studying what you're drawing. When Bob used my three magic tricks, see how much more accurate his drawing was? Now he was getting a likeness. So the grid helps you line things up and when you use the grid, your accuracy will skyrocket like this man's drawing. Now let's look at magic step number two. When you use a window, you can place it over your drawing so that it isolates your shapes even further. So now you begin to view everything just inside that window and you start thinking of them as lines, shapes, values, and textures instead of a preconceived notion. Now you can make your window out of a piece of cardstock or a file folder or even several layers of post-it notes. You just want to make the window slightly bigger than your grid square so you can see how to connect it to the next square. And then just move your window methodically from square to square. And what happens is when you start using the grid in the window, you begin to train your eye to see lines, shape, textures, and values. And the grid and the window are kind of like, you know, training wheels on a bicycle. It teaches you how to hold up so that you can learn to ride a bike. And then later, you may, not, may or may not need that grid or window, but it's training you to see the way a master does. So if you use the window and you use the grid, you're gonna see your drawing coming together, almost like you're assembling a jigsaw puzzle. And by the way, Michelangelo used a grid, Take I used a grid, all these masters. So if it's good enough for Mike and, and Leo, it's good enough for you. Now let's look at my third magic trick. Inside Pencil Drawing College, you're gonna have a portrait master class where you're going to discover how masters view the parts of a face. They actually see things as lines, shapes, and values as I mentioned earlier. So this amateur artist can have a preconceived notion that an eye is an oval with a circle in the middle, but if you look closely at these eyes on the slide, you can see that every eye has a different shape. The whites of the eyeballs are really different in each of these sets of eyes. It's the tiny things like this that can make or break your likeness in your portraits. And that's why it's so important to use the grid in the window to teach you to see the way a master does. My third magic trick is turning the drawing upside down. Now you're saying, why? That's gonna be kind of hard. Well, the thing is when your drawing is right set up, you tend to glance at the drawing that you're copying or the photo, and then you start to stare at your paper while you draw instead of checking your reference for the accuracy. But if your drawing is upside down, it's hard to retain that information that you just saw. So you tend to look back and forth between the photo reference or the drawing that you're copying, and you look back and forth between that and your paper frequently. So let's look at this eye here on the window on the left-hand side and see that when this eye is upside down, I will notice that the shapes of the white of the eye is very different 
on both sides of that iris. Now can you see why these three magic tricks are super important for accuracy in portraits and other subjects? When you use the grid and the window and you draw upside down, you can nail your likeness every time. Not only in portraits of people, but in every subject that you draw and it trains your eye to see like a master. Now let's move into the second portion of our master class where we're gonna discover the surprising mistakes that keep amateurs stuck in that mediocre category. When I get you to think and act differently, you're gonna be shocked at how rapidly your art is gonna improve. So here's a big surprise. A lot of people think that, you know, I'm gonna teach you today about how not to make these marks or whatever, but what's really surprising that it's not the marks on your paper that are making you go off. The number one reason that amateurs fail to become masters is that they will jump into oils. You know, they'll retire and they'll say, I'm gonna take oils, watercolor, I'm gonna do colored pencils, I'm gonna do pastels, and they're really enthusiastic, but they never bothered to master drawing. So they find that their art is always a bit wonky, and they know it. It's kind of like they jumped into third grade without taking grades one and two, and they're failing at third grade, but that doesn't mean they're not talented or smart. It just means that you didn't take grades one and two, so you're always gonna struggle with what you don't know. So in part two, each time I tell you about a mistake that these people made, I'm gonna describe the solution, and then I'm gonna tell you a story about someone who used that solution to go from amateur to amazing. So let's start with the first solution. This student that you see on this screen, if you look on the left-hand side, she did jump into colored pencil without taking drawing. But then on the right-hand side, you can see that now her results were very strong. That apprenticeship in pencil drawing college and then enrolling in colored pencil college caused her to go in sequence and then her work was amazing. Now let's look at a story about someone who mastered drawing first and how that paid off big time. Nita walked into my pencil drawing college with stick figures. You can see here from the drawing on the left. She was 70, but she decided she wanted to take up art and lucky for her, she started with pencil drawing college before she took any other medium. So you can see from the drawing on the left that our, her art was very weak. But when Nita used my three magic tricks, she experienced epic artistic success and it happened really fast. So look, let's look at her story, because I think it's gonna inspire you when you see what's possible. Within a very short time of entering my coaching program at Pencil Drawing College, Nita became so accomplished that her art was chosen to appear in magazines and books. She even started winning all the art shows that she entered, and she was featured on TV. And by age 90, Nita had created more than 500 stunning lifelike portraits. On Nita's 90th birthday, a prestigious art center actually invited her to do a one-woman show, presenting 90 of her stunning portraits. And here's an even bigger surprise. In San Diego County, there's about 3 million people, and this prestigious art center only puts on 12 exhibits every year. So would you agree with me that it's pretty mind-boggling that a retired secretary who is drawing sick figures at age 70 would be selected for a one-woman show at a prestigious art center. Isn't that cool? And to be featured in a one-woman show at age 90, that just shows there's no age limit for success. Nita's awards are awesome, but to Nita, art became way more than awards. When Nita's beloved husband, Bob, got sick with lymphoma, Nita used to use art for stress relief. And every day she'd retreat into her studio and she would draw for four to six hours to siphon off her anxiety. When she refueled her body with art, Nita became a source of strength for Bob. Unfortunately, Bob passed away. But Nita decided to use art again, so she brought out her courtship photos and pretty soon giggles were mingling with her tears and it was softening the blow of her grueling grief. And at 92, Nita still draws. She uses art to make new friends by drawing portraits of all different people that she's meeting. Now, she's so good that she's been approached by many people for commissions, but she didn't want the pressure of charging for portraits, so she decided she'd just use her talent to give back to the world because she feels that the world's been so good to her. So you can see that developing this art skill has literally changed Nita's life. So let's look at another mistake that might be holding you back. You're making mistakes because you're getting bad instruction from people who don't know how to draw that well. 
So let's examine those places that you could be looking for help that's actually keeping you stuck. A lot of amateurs turn to YouTube to learn how to draw, but here's the problem. The real masters who are making tons of money selling art, they're not gonna share their secrets on YouTube. They don't want competition. So there's no way you're gonna find their secrets in a public place. And so this YouTube teacher had 100,000 views and he was recommending paper and pencils that just don't work. And his drawings were awful. So he was telling his students to use the wrong papers and the wrong pencils, and he was basically leading everybody over a cliff. So if you followed him on YouTube, you couldn't help but be stuck in mediocre, because he is too. Here's what happens when you follow bad advice. Both of these drawings are of the same flower. The amateur on the top left is using the wrong materials. Her paper has a lot of texture. So there's no way using that paper that she could duplicate the smooth rose petals that are on the right. She's using the wrong pencils too, so her strokes are picking up the grainy texture of the paper. Now on the right, that drawing exactly replicates the delicate smooth rose petals. I used an HB and an F and a B pencil to make really delicate strokes so that I would replicate these rose petals. By using the right tools, you can make or break your drawing. I had to use a really smooth paper to get that texture. So how do you find out what kind of supplies the masters use for realistic drawings? I promised you solutions and here they are. I was hired by Art Materials Today and Meitzel's Art and Craft Magazine to review all the top art supplies that are out there and I tested them so that I could rec make recommendations in my magazine columns. I also had access to all the manufacturer's secrets too. And I know what art materials work best and what don't. So it's really important to get your information from experts, not from amateurs. At the time, I was on the advisory board of top out manufacturers like Prismacolor and Derwent. So my information was coming directly from the source and their products had been tested by experts too. So how would you like to have links to all those right supplies where you can even buy them at a discount? Well, I have a website that I set up just for that purpose. And at the end of today's class, I'm gonna talk about how you can access that secret link. But right now I wanna move on and just crush a few more false beliefs that may be holding you back. When I won the fellowship award from Rhode Island School of Design, the San Diego City School System decided to adopt my curriculum to use for their 100 art teachers in their district. So they flew me to a conference to show these art teachers how to use my simplified classical system. Well, you can imagine my surprise when 10 minutes into my training, I realized that only seven of those 100 art teachers were actually proficient at drawing. I was shocked, but here's why. For almost a hundred years, realism has really not been widely applauded. So unlike the olden days where they would pass down classical foundations from generation to generation, that's not going on right now. So a lot of the teachers in my conference, they just hadn't been classically trained. Plus a lot of modern art colleges just teach you to throw paint or create art that shocks so you'll get publicity. In some art colleges, they even encourage you to frame rope or put a urinal under plexiglass, and then they call it art. I was at a show recently where there were literally six garbage bags stuck with paper selling for $50,000. It's crazy. So for more than a century, the art world is focused on the shock value of marketing art, and many schools have abandoned the classics. So it's really hard to find good training. It actually took me 11 years to find the top masters and build a library of classical methods so that I could train you properly. Instead of traveling all over the country and spending time and money trying to find those masters, I put all their secrets in one place inside Pencil Drawing College. I have a vast library of secrets from the world's best art masters. So at Pencil Drawing College, instead of bizarre art, I condensed all those old masters methods and contemporary methods into super simple step-by-step -step master classes. Here's an example. Carol from the UK is, was my successful apprentice in Pencil Drawing College. You can see on the left that she wasn't great. She was okay, but not great when she started. So Carol had a full-time job. She signed up for my apprenticeship program and she would get up early and squeeze in her practice time in the mornings before work. Her progress was just epic. And even though this drawing was just intended for practice, she sold it before she finished. 
And something really cool happened. Carol was so excited by her progress that she began showing her portraits around. And soon people were lining up to pay her thousands of dollars for this side job drawing, which is something that she loves. Carol landed seven lucrative commissions within six months of her apprenticeship in Pencil Drawing College. So investing herself really paid off. Now, as I said, the real masters aren't writing books. They're out there in business. They're making big bucks. They don't want you to know what they're doing because if you know the methods and materials they use, they're going to not win those top awards. So they're very guarded. But I have good news. In the olden days, I was privileged to have access to all these top masters because I was writing for prestigious magazines like the Artist and American Artist Magazine. And so they let me interview these masters. And because of the great publicity that this would get, these world-class art masters just spilled the beans. And I wrote it all down. <laughs> so let's look at some of the results that the apprentices who attended Pencil Drawing College are getting in their work. A lot of you may have been looking at the previous things and say, oh, those artists started out with talent, but I'm no good. But as you can see here, this before drawing was pretty awful. This is by Orville, who was an engineer, and sadly, he had to retire at 50 from his job as an engineer because he had a stroke in the left brain. So he came to Pencil Drawing College, and he signed up for an apprenticeship coaching where I taught him how to take his art from amateur to amazing. And he lived another 25 years drawing all his family and left a family legacy. And at his funeral, his family said to me, you know what, you kind of saved his life because it gave him something to do after retirement. He just needed a challenge. And so art can provide a fabulous challenge for you. Now let's look at the last mistake that you might be making when you're looking for instruction. It always surprises me when I find so many Facebook groups where there's a whole bunch of bad artists hanging out with other bad artists. And they're exchanging advice on how to use the wrong paper and the wrong pencils and the wrong techniques and everybody just gets worse and worse and worse. So here's the thing, everybody knows if you play tennis with somebody who's worse than you, your game's never gonna get better. Well, it's the same with art. If you ask someone who knows less than you, guess what, you're gonna get bad results. Now here's something that's gonna surprise you. I made every one of the mistakes that I just described. And I cringe when I show you my early art that happened when I was making those mistakes. My art was pitiful. I thought I was saving money by being self-taught because I was scouring books by amateur artists and I was watching mediocre videos and I was hanging out with people who knew little or less than I did. And here's the worst part. Those mistakes cost me close to a million dollars. Really, let me tell you why. When I finally realized that I couldn't become a master by getting advice from the wrong places, I started apprenticing with masters. And here's the crazy thing. After I signed up with the masters, my work took off like a rocket. And I began to earn six figures every year. So during that 10 years that I thought I was saving money, I could have conceivably earned a million dollars because 10 times six figures is a million dollars. It's mind boggling to see that I went from working four minimum wage jobs to earning money doing something I love and literally earning more than a million dollars as an artist. Just a few months after apprenticing with the masters, my work improved so much that I landed this first commission to do two portraits for $3,200. And that was 25 years ago. So in today's money, that would be $6,200. Can you even imagine earning $6,200 for your first two portraits after you had been bad just a few months earlier? I don't want to seem like I'm bragging, but I want you to know that even if you start out with super weak skills like I did, you can live your secret art dreams. Imagine how excited I was when I was published in prestigious magazines like the Artist Magazine and American Artist, and soon they asked me to write for them. And I ended up with my own column in several national magazines. I'm showing this because I want you to know that even if you're an amateur, you can become a pro. I got so famous that I was invited to make appearances on national television shows. And I went on to write 72 award-winning courses and I have awards at the Wazoo, but I'm not here to talk about that. I am here to talk about how I can help you.
So the credential that I value the most is when Rhode Island School of Design gave me a fellowship award because they felt I am the number one art coach in the United States. So that shows what I can do for you. That's why I like that award. I love being your fairy art mother. And when you succeed, so do I. So let's jump into part three, where I'm going to show you my simplified four-step system that was used by this apprentice to transform her art from amateur to amazing. I'm going to make drawing easy for you. If I asked you to draw the dog in box four, as a beginner, you might feel overwhelmed. But if I said, let's just draw the silhouette of the dog in box one. Now, that's not so hard, is it? Now, in box two, let's put a map inside that shape. So now we have lines that will tell us where to shade. That's pretty easy, isn't it? Now let's shade inside those lines in box three. Let's put in the dark, the medium, and the light values so that it starts to get dimension. That's not so hard, is it? And finally, in the last step, let's put those textures on top of those values. Do you see how easy it is to tackle a complicated subject when you break it down into four simple steps? So before we delve into my last step, let's burst one more myth. Some people think it's cheating to copy, but all the masters in every discipline know that copying is the best way to learn. A golfer is going to copy a pro. A piano protege is going to copy Van Cliburn. An athlete is going to emulate Olympic winners. Smart students copy masters because that's how you learn to simulate textures. So now we're going to get rid of that false belief. It is not cheating to copy. So I'm going to show you my surefire formula for mastering values and textures. Okay, in step number three at Pencil Drawing College, I'm going to reveal how to copy the masters so that you can begin to build a library in your brain about how to render various textures. And that's why we copy. They know how to do it. You don't. When you copy, you learn. And later, when you're working from your own photos, your brain will know how to solve those textures because you copied the way the master did it. So now it's in her brain library because she copied someone who knew how to do that. And that's why it's so important to copy. You're building a brain library. So you'll learn how to deal with different textures. So in Pencil Drawing College, I provide you with master classes that have all sorts of subjects. That way you can build a texture library in your brain with a wide variety of subjects. In your pet master class, for example, you're going to discover how to draw the dog's soulful eyes that talks you out of food. And you're going to learn how to draw whiskers and noses. And your fur is going to look so soft, you'll think you could pet the paper. If you love nature, you're going to enjoy the flower master class and, because you're going to render realistic textures like this rose and the delicate folds in this iris. Flowers are one of the simplest textures to master. So this is a good exercise to start with because you don't have to capture a likeness in a flower like you would in a portrait. There's going to be less pressure when you're drawing flowers. So that's why I start your master classes off with flowers. We're also going to do wildlife. When I lived in Kenya, I lived on the edge of the Nairobi game park and giraffes would eat off my trees. So I have a real fondness when I look at this tender moment that was created by my apprentice in the UK, Carol Leather. Derek Wagner, who's a master photographer, captured this story, and I asked him if Carol could use his photo, and he said yes. In Pencil Drawing College, I'm going to provide you with a lot of different wild animal textures. As you explore your wild animal master classes, you're going to discover that each animal's eyes are a little different, and the fur textures change. Each nose has a new shape, and the ears vary. Every animal's a little different. So by the time you finish your own wildlife master classes, if you decide to draw your own original art later, you're going to have a texture library built into your brain so that when you look at your own photos, you're going to know what pencil marks you should use to replicate that texture. I put your portrait master class at the end of pencil drawing college just because faces are a little intimidating for some of you. I'm going to build your confidence with easier projects first. And then by the time we get to your portrait master class, you'll have strong drawing skills. So portraits won't seem intimidating. But still, when you draw faces, there is that pressure of getting a likeness. So I'm going to share some secrets that will help you nail that elusive likeness every single time. This master class on portraits could even convert you from a fear of faces to a fan of faces. It's not as hard as you think. 
And if you use my three magic methods that I just talked about today, you can get a likeness. In fact, portraits are one of my specialties, so I'm going to share a lot of really cool secrets with you. Your portrait masterclass is going to start off with easy subjects, so you'll succeed right away because early success is really important. I'm going to give you projects that help you master the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the hair, skin tones, and more. I'm also going to explain how babies and kids have different proportions, and I'm going to guide you through the masterclass that develops skills that will be useful when you later render portraits of your own kids or grandkids. Now that we burst the myth, and banished all these mistakes and these false beliefs that are holding you back, I have a question. If I could show you how to master drawing in the short space of 12 weeks, would you like to follow that shortcut to success? Or would you rather keep being self-taught like I was for so many years? Are you gonna keep struggling to figure out things on your own and waste paper and time and money and wad up your drawing in frustration? Or would you like to finally look down at your paper and be proud of your drawings? If you're eager to improve your drawing skills, I'd like to invite you to join me in Pencil Drawing College. So let's take a few minutes to peek inside Pencil Drawing College and see how my new speed learning system will help you master drawing really fast. So what's inside Pencil Drawing College? Well, first, my pencil selector is going to take the mystery out of pencil choices. Amateurs tend to use one pencil and just press harder or lighter to try to change the values, but you need to use all 12 different pencils. So this selector is going to help you choose the right pencil every time. Instead of weak drawings that lack depth, you're going to finally see your dramatic art emerge from the paper. Nita wasn't getting a good range of values. Her accuracy was good because she was using the three magic tricks, but she hadn't found the pencil selector yet. When she finally used the pencil selector to choose the right pencils for shading, you can see that her drawing on the right just pops off the paper. You kind of feel like you could pinch those little cheeks. In each one of your master class projects inside Pencil Drawing College, you're going to have videos that show you how to render realistic textures. The pencils that I'm using will appear on the screen so you can draw along with me. I'm going to show you what strokes to make and how to press and what tools I use and how to make your drawing emerge off the paper. Next, you're going to get access to my closely guarded secrets that I gathered from all the top masters. I'm going to show you their tools, the things that they use to get those top awards and lucrative commissions. And you know what? Using the right materials can make the difference between success and failure. Sometimes you're doing it wrong and it's not your fault. You're just using the wrong paper or the wrong pencils. So inside Pencil Drawing College, I'm going to give you access to a website where you can buy the tools the masters use and even at a discount. And because I spent years testing those art materials, I know which ones work the best. You're going to have a wide variety of master classes too, so you can focus on diverse topics so that your skills are going to be versatile. You'll discover how to render realistic flowers, and then we're going to segue into drawing delightful dogs and fluffy kittens. You're going to build a brain library of textures that will help you if you later decide you want to render portraits of your own precious pet. You could even use these skills to earn money in a pet portrait business. Each workbook in your master class is also going to have backstories that show you how to find inspiration. Everybody's always asking me, where do you get your inspiration? So I'm going to show you how to collect memories so that your exciting life spills onto your paper or your canvas. Now, you're probably wondering what your investment is going to be for Pencil Drawing College. Well, let me tell you what others have paid for this valuable skill. Tony Robbins actually wrote me a check for $102,000 for four hours of drawing lessons. And he paid for my first class airfare to Venice, Italy. And he put me up in a gorgeous suite in my own private, with my own private maid in an Italian villa. It cost him $102,000 to study with me for only four hours. But your cost isn't going to be anywhere near that. Now, it took me more than a decade and $110,000 to gather this information for you. Because for 11 years, I flew in five of the world's top art masters into San Diego, and I paid $10,000 a year to get them to reveal their closely guarded secrets at my workshops. So over 11 years, that cost me $110,000 to gather this research for you. But unlike me, you won't have to take time off work or spend money flying all over the world like I did. I put all those top masters closely guarded secrets in one place, Pencil Drawing College. 
So your investment won't be nearly as much as I spent and it won't take you 11 years like it did for me. In fact, in 12 weeks, you could go from amateur to amazing and your cost could be a fraction of the price that I paid. Actually, it's gonna be the cost of what you would pay for a grande coffee at Starbucks if you bought one every day this year. Now I'm gonna get very specific so you know exactly what's included and what your investment is gonna be. Now, I want a big drum roll because I'm about to open enrollment in Pencil Drawing College now. Here's what's inside the 30th anniversary edition of the new improved Pencil Drawing College. You're gonna get that vast vault of master's methods that took me 11 years and $110,000 to gather for you. Next, you're gonna be excited to use that speed learning version of my three magic tricks so you can dramatically improve your accuracy and it could happen very quickly. You'll have access to my four-step simplified system that makes drawing so easy that you can succeed even if you're drawing stick figures now or even if you think you know how to draw but you're just not getting the results that you want or if you're painting and your painting's a little wonky because you didn't learn how to draw. So your masterclass videos and workbooks are gonna show you how to create a variety of textures like flowers and faces and dogs and cats and wild animals and a horse. You're gonna feel like you're inside my studio watching me draw. I also created a really cool time-saving feature in your new masterclass. You know, when you use a grid, you usually have to draw it on your paper, but I gridded all of your drawings and your workbook sheets. That way you don't have to slavishly create a grid on every single drawing. Then I included a new feature that's gonna help you correct the number one mistakes, getting a lack of range of values. Most newbies don't use the full range of pencils like I mentioned before, so they don't get depth. And their drawings end up wimpy. That's why I'm gonna furnish you with a free pencil selector that will help you pick the right pencil every time. You're gonna get that for free, and I'm also gonna give you a video about how to use it. I'm gonna give you a wide variety of textures, including flowers and fur and faces and cats and dogs and eyes and skin and wild animals and even a horse. So if you're retired and you have a lot of time to practice, it's conceivable that you could master drawing in just 12 weeks. It's good to know that you will have access to these master classes for 12 months. So you could just take a master class every month and still finish learning how to draw in just one year. Now, I want to address why I drip your classes in instead of making them all available on the first day. Well, I found that if you take a course and you have a ton of information, you can get overwhelmed. And I, that happened to me recently, and I just felt like I couldn't complete it. So I'm going to just give you one thing at a time so your course is very doable. So everything I've described so far, plus the bonuses that I'm just about to reveal, totals up to $118,197.99. But you're gonna get everything I described plus two more bonuses that I'm just about to reveal for less than the price of a daily grande coffee at Starbucks. So you ask yourself, would I rather have a daily cup of coffee or would I rather use that money to develop a lifelong skill that could calm me down? Let's talk about the bonuses that you'll get if you sign up right now. Most people have no idea what pe pencils or papers or sharpeners or erasers are gonna work best, but using the right materials can make or break your drawing. And so, I, as I said earlier, I tested all these new materials so you don't have to waste time and money buying the wrong supplies. So you're gonna be furnished with a link to the master secret tools, and I'm taking it one step further in this edition of Pencil Drawing College, I'm gonna give you four video demos that will reveal how the masters use those secret to um, tools to get their stunning results. Now in my workshop, live workshop, that would have cost you $19.97, but you're gonna get this for free in the 30th edition of Pencil Drawing College. Now at the very beginning of this masterclass, I promised you that I would reveal that last gourmet ingredient, you know, my secret sauce. Well, this secret sauce is what transformed my art and my apprentices from Amateur Amazing. So what is it, Sandra? What's the secret sauce? Well, it's getting feedback. When you get a feedback from a master and they pinpoint your mistakes and tell you where you're going wrong, you can finally stop making the same frustrating mistakes over and over and you come unblocked. 
when you get rid of those pesky mistakes, you're going to finally sit down at your desk with confidence and you're going to know that your paper is going to look like the ideas in your head. Here's an example of someone who used that secret sauce. This ER nurse had a hectic job, so she needed to get away to siphon off her stress. So she signed up for pencil drawing college and she also took the coaching portion of pencil drawing college. I helped her pinpoint where she was going wrong and her work improved dramatically, as you can see. Then when she retired, she began to travel, so she used her drawing skills to turn those precious moments into masterpiece and she displays them on her walls. And she's also drawn all her grandkids because she wants to leave a legacy behind for her family too. So here's the thing, pencil drawing college is a self-study program. There's no coaching. But what if I told you that you can get coaching from a world-class master for free? Yeah, I didn't mention it, but there's a third bonus today. But there's a catch. I have to keep the group small. So I'm only offering this coaching to the first 30 people who sign up. So if you want to get feedback on your art and turbocharge your improvement so that you stop making chronic mistakes, you better hurry and grab a spot before those 30 places are gone. So now it's time to ask yourself, are you going to buy a cup of coffee every day at Starbucks or are you going to invest that money in your art dream? As I said, last year Pencil Drawing College sold out. And that's probably going to happen again really soon. You know what? I'm actually getting goosebumps right now thinking about working with you and the amazing things that are going to happen when you choose to follow that art dream. It's been tucked away in your heart for a long time. Has your muse been begging you for years to come out and play? Well, she needs the skills so that your paper or your canvas starts to look like the creative ideas in your head or what you're painting in front of you. So at Pencil Drawing College, I can help you make those dreams come true. And when you succeed, so will I. And I cannot wait to meet you and get started. Okay, so you're asking if there's a money back guarantee. Okay, good question. And my answer is no, and here's why. I can guarantee that the system will work if you follow it because in 30 years, I've seen thousands, in fact, 30,000 people have used this system but I can't guarantee that you'll show up. And I want you to succeed, but if you don't do the work, you won't get better. So that's why I don't give a, a guarantee. I will guarantee you're gonna get the roadmap for speed learning, but I can't pick up your pencil and practice for you. That's your job. So I would just say, if you're not ready to follow the roadmap for drawing success, this program just isn't for you. But if you're issuing your own guarantee, that you won't let obstacles stop you from finally living that art dream, PencilDrawingCollege.com will give you that speed drawing system that could transform your art really fast. And the good news is that even if you're busy right now, you can take this anytime over the 12 month program. Let me look at the other questions here. Okay, Joyce is asking, can I use this program for my art classes? Okay, Joyce, thanks for asking that. I'm glad you did. Let me explain how copyright works. So if you were attending college, they wouldn't let you bring your friends for free to the college class, right? Because it's only the person who paid for it. So when you sign up for a course at Pencil Drawing College, it's the same thing. The person who paid for it has access to it, but no, you can't sit in front of your classroom and give it to everybody in the room um, because this is just for the person who signed up. And this is copyright protected. This content took years to build for you. So I really appreciate it when you respect the law and you observe my, cop my copyrights. So again, this course is only to be consumed by the person who's buying it. And thanks for asking, Joyce. Okay, Julie wants to know what kind of drawing paper and pencils I use. Well, it different. it's different in each course, but I have good news, Julie. Inside Pencil Drawing College, you're going to get a materials list for every single master class. So you're going to have a link to the place where you can buy those supplies at a discount. And so you will always know what to use. All right, here's another question. Okay, looks like Marie lives in the UK, so she can't attend Critiques Live. And she wants to know how that's going to work. Okay, Marie, I have great news. All the live sessions, even the critiques, are going to be recorded. And that way you can consume all your content 
at your own pace in your own time zone. So you'll actually, if you're, if you are lucky enough to get one of those 30 spaces, you'll get to post your art whenever it's convenient for you. And then the masters will go in and give those live critiques. If you can attend them live, that's awesome. If you can't, it's all recorded. So you can watch it when you have time to do that. And we're going to help you figure out where you keep going wrong. So you can just consume this material, these materials anytime in your PJs. Maybe you've always had it in your mind that you want to learn to draw or, and you're no good at it, so you don't think you can. Well, that's no problem because I'm really good at taking you from six figures to masterpiece. Or maybe you're a painter and you know that your art is wobbly. You didn't have first and second grade, so you need to come back and pick up your drawing skills. Or maybe you're drawing and you're, you're pretty good, but you're not winning awards and commissions and you're just not good enough. And so you want to kind of master the technique so that you could win, you know, those commissions and the top awards. And, and you could be proud of your work. When you look down at the paper, you could say, oh, wow. I mean, this happens to me. I don't want to sound like I'm bragging, but sometimes I look at my paper and I just go, wow, <laughs> that's really good. And that feels really good to, to get to that stage. So if that describes you, you're the right person for pencil drawing college. So I want to think, I want you to think about it. Are you going to buy a daily cup of coffee at Starbucks? Or are you going to use that money to access all these master's methods that it took me 11 years to find? Are you going to take your heart to a whole new level? Are you going to finally master drawing? I'm going to give you a roadmap. It's like a treasure map. You know how when you do a treasure hunt, I'm going to give you a map like that so that you can find your way from awful to amazing or from good to great or from bad to better. And at the end, you're going to say, I just can't believe I drew that. I love making art com dreams come true. And when you succeed, so will I. I cannot wait to meet you inside Pencil Drawing College.